ay asmatik ba ako, gamay pa ko, may asman ako. Unya na hadlo ko kay kanang inong biya sila nga. Hi guys, this is Nurse Vince. Welcome back to my channel. Hashtag Nurse Vince. How are you guys? I hope everyone is doing okay. So this is a continuation on my video, in my previous video about the government's effort to eradicate or to fight COVID-19 pandemic. So those are the questions as I have mentioned. I have checked uh, the DOH website. Actually, it's, uh, it's, a, it's Health of Philippines DOH website um regarding the FAQs or frequently asked questions or yung ano yung mga madalas na tinatanong ng mga tao so ito pa rin ay this is related to COVID-19 situation that we're facing right now that we've been battling for um couple of months so since uh the pandemic started so kaya uh, I feel again that it is just relevant to talk about it so again, uh, let me make a disclaimer that the information, the questions that I'm using in this video are coming from the Department of Health. And again, I have used several TikTok filters to, uh, uh, for, for my visitors to ask, for my guests to ask the questions. So I hope you will like this video as well. And again, please, please subscribe, like, and share. Vince Alba. Hashtag Nurse Vince. Right? So the first question, let's let's go to the first question. And this is more on um, related to um, guidance. Should I say guidance that we can use? Uh, this is not something new. Hindi to bago. And I said, and again, I'm going to say this again, that you have, if you keep on um, hearing the same information, so ang tendency is mariritain natin. So pag mariritain, mas maintindihan natin kung paulit-ulit natin sinasabi. Kung paulit-ulit natin pinag-uusapan. So enjoy, and let's go to the first question. Hi, fans, I have a question. How can I keep the virus away from my home? So afraid. <laughs> so afraid. So afraid. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. That is a very basic question. How can I keep, sabi niya, how can I keep away, how can I keep the virus away from my home? And I think that's very basic. So, um, for the past months, we've been, um, you know, hearing about the importance of staying at home. So, kailangan nasa bahay ka lang. So, a very basic rule to keep the virus away from your home, from your family, within your family, is you stay at home. Right? So, unless it is emergency or absolutely necessary you have to stay home you have to stay home but if not halimbawa hindi mo maiwasang lumabas talagang kailangan mong lumabas ano ba ang dapat gawin pag nasa labas ka so pag nasa labas ka kailangan you have to remember that um una una you have to wear mask you have to protect yourself and you know very well how the virus spread you know, so if a person is infected, halimbawa, to a droplet infection or a droplet mode of transmission. So, galing doon sa bahing, galing doon sa sneeze, galing doon sa ubo. Pag umubo yung isang tao, so that's projectile na tinatawag, may kakayahan yung uh, mag-travel ng how many meters papunta sa'yo, right? A certain distance napapunta halimbawa ikaw wala kang protection tap, tapos uh, mayroong infected doon walang mask bumahing umubo droplet right direct pumasok sa'yo or nahawakan mo tapos napunta sa 
sa sistema mo na punta sa, sa big mall, kung saan, sa portal of entry yung tinatawag. So, pwede kang magkaroon ng infection. So, you have to wear mask at all times. You have to make sure to, to kung nasa ibang, kung nasa labas ka, kailangan social distancing at all times. Paulit-ulit tayo dyan sa term na yan, sa social distancing na yan. So, kailangan huwag natin kalimutan. And of course, you always have to bring alcohol. You know, if there's no way for you to wash your hands, hugasan mong kamay mo ng sabon at tubig, walang ganun at all times. Alam mga available sa kailangan may hand sanitizer ka. Uh, alcohol na may kakayahang pumatay ng, ng, ng virus. So, that's very important. Tapos, huwag mong hawakan as much as possible. Do not touch your face. You know, um, do not touch anything with your hands. Huwag kang kung saan-saan humahawak sa hindi mo alam. You know, kung as much as possible na pwede mong iwasan. So, huwag kang humawak ng kung saan-saan. And then again, I have to reiterate, keep physical distancing at all times. So, one meter at least, two arms length na dapat uh, space from other people. Right? So, that is very important. Tapos, pag uwi mo sa bahay, isipin mo rin, galing ka sa labas, hindi mo alam na, you know, you were exposed. Hindi mo naman, again, hindi naman natin nakikita. Hindi din naman natin alam kung sino ang may virus. That's, ito ang pinaka- Actually, ito yung pinakamahirap na kalaban eh. Kasi your, your, your um, enemy is invisible. Hindi mo siya alam kung sino meron dyan. Minsan naiisip mo yung mga taong lagi mong kasama. Kunyari, you know, very trusting. Kasabihin mo, naku, araw-araw naman kami magkasama niyan. Sa work, o ito, kaibigan ko, lagi kami magkasama. You don't even know kung sila yung infected. You know, so hindi ka dapat, you know, mag, mag, magiging ano ka lang, so magiging kampante ka, magtatanggal ka ng mask, sabihin mo na ako, lagi ko naman yung nakakausap, lagi ko naman yung nakakasama. You don't even know kung ano ang kanila pinupuntahan. You know, kung ano ang, kung na-expose sila or what. So you have to be careful. Kahit pa yung mga taong araw-araw mong nakakasama sa trabaho, araw-araw mo, you have to protect yourself. So you have to protect each other. You know, to, for, for, this, for the spread of infection. So, pag uwi mo, halimbawa, galing ka sa labas, so mag-spray ka. Again, mag mag disinfect ka. Uh, mag-spray ka ng alcohol. Tapos, kailangan tanggalin mo before ka pumasok sa bahay. You know? Tapos, wag kang dumiretso or, or, you know, umawak, umaka, pumalik sa mga ka, sa mga kasama mo sa bahay or sa sa pamilya mo. So, you have to to um, make sure that you have a designated area wherein you can just disinfect yourself. Kung, eh, as much as possible kung pwede kang dumiretso sa banyo maligo halimbawa ganyan so that's very important um, syempre tanggalin mo yung clothing mo na galing sa labas lalo na kung wala kang mga protective uh, gears na tinatawag wala kang PPE tapos linisan mo kung ano yung mga daladala mo you know laging may alcohol pagpasok sa bahay then sa bahay laging may alcohol or sanitizer tapos maligo ka kaagad take a bath as soon as possible pagdating mo sa bahay. Kung meron ka mga gloves or mask, you have to remove it as well in a separate uh, bin. But again, very importantly, you have to stay home. Keep physical distancing. I hope I have answered your question. Thank you! Hi, nurse friends. May tanong ako. Ano po ang dapat gawin pag kasakit ako ng COVID-19? Um, going back to your question, um, what should you do if you will get infected with uh, COVID-19? And I think that is a very basic question that we should know and we should be aware. Even if we're hearing this, kahit pa ulit ulit natin naririnig. So, I also would like, you know, to remind, so ano ba dapat ang gawin mo pag nagkasakit ka? Kasi kahit isipin mo nga, magkalagnat ka, magkaubo ka, na wala ka pang test, na hindi ka pa natitest, you know, kung positive ka or hindi. Kakabahan ka na kasi you know that, you know, uh, pwedeng may masamang mangyari, right? Pwedeng mag-develop into different complications. So, sobra kang advanced mag-isip. Even kahit na nasa labas ka, tapos mapaubo ka lang kung na-notice nyo yan, pagditinginan ka, 
you know, na parang may COVID ka kaagad. Parang may judgment na kaagad yung tao. Stick to, what should you do? What are the things that you have to do? If ever, na magka, nung ka ng COVID infection. Guidelines or the, the answer provided here in uh, the DOH website. So first, alam niyo ba that most people over 80%, most people over 80%, 80% will get mildly ill, mildly ill and won't need to go to the hospital. Oh, especially, uh, of course, malaking factor ang age, malaking factor yung mga tinatawag na comorbidities na tinatawag. So pag sinabing comorbid, mga comorbidities, yun yung may mga existing kang sakit. So pag may existing kang sagi, sakit, tapos ma-expose ka sa virus na pwede mag-develop na mga sintomas, lalo na kung ang tinitira niya is respiratory, uh, something related sa paghinga mo. So pwede maging fatal yon Lalo na kung medyo may edad ka na or matanda ka na. Kaya kung nakikita niyo sa guidelines, di ba sa mga quarantine guidelines natin, bawal lumabas yung mga very young and very old. Kasi, pwedeng sila ang, ang um, ma, madaling madapuan ng sakit. At lalo na yung mga matatanda, may mga comorbidities na tinatawag na meron silang mga existing sakit. Tapos, pag nagkaroon pa sila ng COVID infection, lalo silang malalagay sa alanganin at magkakaroon sila ng mga complications. At pag nagkaroon ng complications, pwede yung ikamatay. Statistics, 80% ay pwede uh, mild symptoms lang. Again, depende pa rin sa factors. Depende pa rin kung ikaw ay may mga existing na nasakit na or depende sa edad mo. Right? Especially yung mga, yung mga matatanda. So, ang ginagawa is they can just manage their symptoms at home. So, kumbaga, ikawalatin lang sila sa bahay. Doon na sila magpapagaling. Doon nila ititreat yung mga sintomas. Kasi virus, virus, um, hindi tulad ng, ng bacteria. Pag bacteria kasi, ang cause ng sakit. I just have to mention this. Kung bacteria kasi ang cause ng sakit, mag-prescribe ang doctor ng antibiotic napapatay dun sa bacteria na yon, yung sa bacterial growth na yon, so ito take mo yun ng average of five, a minimum of five, average of seven, maximum of ten days. so depende sa antibiotic na reseta ng doctor. ang virus, ang virus ay tayong symptomatic treatment. so kung ano yung symptoms mo, yun lang ang iti treat. so halimbawa may fever ka, bibigyan ka ng paracetamol. normally ganon. So, kung mayroon kang iba mga sintomas, yun ang ibibigay sa'yo na, na nagamot ng doktor. Kailangan, kung, kung naalala ninyo, ang kailangan is we have to allow our immune system to fight against the infection. Viral na tinatawag. Kaya nga, di ba, ang lagi nating sinasabi, boost your immune system, drink a lot of water, take vitamin C, eat nutritious foods, have enough rest para malakas yung immune system mo to fight against the infection. So, yun, yun ang difference. So, syempre, kailangan mong mag-separate, kailangan mong dun ka sa kwarto na ikaw lang mag-isa, wala kang kasama para yung cross-infection mo sa mga family members ay, ay maiwasan. So, that's very basic. Tapos, you have to wear a face mask at all times, especially if you know that you are positive as much as possible, you don't want to spread the infection. Lalo na sa mga members ng family na medyo may edad na. So, again, kailangan mo. Kung mayroong room or mayroong mayroong ibang, ibang floor ng bahay o ibang area ng bahay na pwede ikaw lang mag-isa na wala kang contact sa ibang tao as much as possible, yun dapat na gawin symptomatic, positive, asymptomatic sa bahay lang mag-quarantine at magpapagaling. Kasi, pag nasa hospital ka, high risk ka rin. Kasi you will be exposed to different um, microorganisms and different disease na pwedeng ikasama mo din. Pre, kasama nyo doon yung pagdi-disinfects. Uh, pagdi-disinfect mo ng, ng mga gamit na ginagamit mo with 70% alcohol or pwede kang gumamit ng uh, naglagay sila dito ng parang bleach bleach solution. Ang ilalagay mo, mga 
hundred ml na ng bleach. So that's that's equivalent to seven tablespoon. So one tablespoon is equivalent to fifteen ml. So seven tablespoon of bleach in one liter of water or isang liter ng tubig sa so, pwede mo yung ipahit para ma disinfect yung area mo. So dapat wala kang ibang contact sa sa ibang bahay. Tapos, you have to understand na um, also, kung nasa ba, nasa bahay ka, positive ka, tapos alam mo dapat kung kailan ka pupunta ng hospital. If ever, wag naman sana na lumala yung condition mo tulad ng halimbawa, uh, mayroon ka tinatawag na DOB or difficulty of breathing or shortness of breathing or SOB na tinatawag. That is uh, um, a warning sign na pwedeng Mal, malala yung involvement ng lungs mo. So, you have to go to the nearest hospital. Tapos, para kang, parang dinadaganan yung chest mo. Persistent. Persistent na pain or parang pressure sa, sa dibdib mo. So, yun. Dapat, that, that's another you know sign that you have to go to the hospital. Tapos, pag medyo may, may uh, effect na kasi doon sa paghinga natin, nagkakaroon tayo ng parang yung yung pag-iisip natin is affected na parang nako-confuse tayo na parang pati yung pag-respond natin sa mga bagay parang alam mo yung parang groggy ka na parang ano ka lutang parang ganun so that's also um, a sign na parang kulang na yung oxygen mo sa katawan so that's another thing tapos halimbawa pag pag usually kasi pag medyo may involved na sa iyong paghinga yung lips mo na medyo bluish na pati yung itsura mo na para kang uh, nangingitim na so that's another thing so yan yung mga kailangan mo pumunta ng hospital at kailangan mo sometimes halimbawa lalo na pag medyo uh, may iba kang sakit pwede kang yan yung pagpunta mo sa hospital uh, lalagyan ka ng, ng respirator kung medyo hirap na hirap ka ng huminga yung tutubuhan ka kaya nga na, nahihirapan at kaya nga tayo nagkakaroon ng kakulangan sa mga hospital kasi ilan lang naman yung mga respirator, yung mga ventilator sa hospital. Ba kung ilan lang ang ICU bed, if, if you're not aware, ilang ICU bed lang halimbawa sa isang hospital. So hindi talaga pwedeng ma-accommodate kung sobrang dami. Right? So yun lang. So I hope I have answered your question. Pero nagulat ako dun parang bata pa pero parang may ano na. Mayroon ng balbas. Right? So, thank you and we'll proceed to question number three. Hi. Do I need a face mask to protect myself against COVID-19? Thank you. Hi. So, <laughs> that was another filter. Okay. So, I think that's a very basic question. Kaya nga gusto ko siyang pag-usapan. Wearing face mask. Do I need to? Of course, you need to. Right? Pero, we have also to understand that wearing face mask or pagsusuot ng, 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 ng mask does not protect you alone for COVID. So, there are other things that you have to do as well. So, sa side ng positive, you have to wear a face mask. Sa side naman ng, ng ibang tao, dapat din, you have to wear to protect yourself. So, yung positive to, pro to protect other people, especially kung nandiyan ka sa bahay, or nasa, uh, ano ka, uh, to protect in order to avoid to infect other people. So, the general public as mentioned and always reminded by the Department of Health, the general public should wear face mask at all times. Again, kahit pa nakamask ka, you have to, to make sure that you are um, maintaining at least one meter distance from each other. You have to cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing as much as possible. So, mayroon ka na face mask you still have to cover it. You have to wash hands frequently with soap and water. And then, kung wala kang means, as I have mentioned, you have to uh, use alcohol or hand sanitizer. 
you are healthy, for example, uh, it is okay to use uh, do-it-yourself face mask. Marami, marami ako nakikita. Marami mga improvised face mask. Um, alam, alam nyo naman kung gaano tayo ka-innovative ng mga Filipino. Uh, we have to remember that the main purpose of that is to protect. To protect yourself and of course, to protect other people as well. You know, of course, except with eating and sleeping. So, um, syempre yung ating mga, mga medical frontliners, alam naman natin, some, ma, they are, you know, fully equipped, may, may full gear sila ng PPEs. Because we have to make sure that we're also taking good care of them. You know? So, yun lang, yun lang ang import, importansya, importansya ng face mask. Paulit-ulit. You know, paulit-ulit nating nare-remind. Paulit-ulit nating pinag-uusapan. Because it's very important. Uh, on how we should prevent the spread. Or at least, we should uh, stop. If if we can stop, at least we can minimize the spread of COVID infection. So, I'll go to the next question. Hi, uh, Nurse Vince. May nalakoy pangutan na kay... Asmatic ba ako? Gamay pa ko? May asma na ko? Unya, nahadlo ko kay. Kanang inyong biya sila nga. Kanang prone ko no magkasakit ang naay kanang o delikado ba? Na kay kanang gibatsyag na daan. Unya, ang asma biya kay sa baga biya na. Muna mahadlo ko kay. Kanang respiratory biya ko no ang koan, ang COVID. Muna na ako'y pangutan na usa. Uban po na ako ang mga kanang kailang may mga asma mo na ang ang pangutana. Salamat ka ayu. Wow, this was this was interesting. I like this filter. Okay, so let's let's go back to to his question. Um, what if you're asthmatic? So meaning, um, may asthma ka then you get infected with COVID. So, nagkasakit ka ng COVID. So, I think I had mentioned this earlier in my in my previous um, discussion that mas delikado yung magkakaroon ka ng infection na mayroon kang existing, mayroon kang tinatawag na comorbidities or mayroon kang existing na sakit. Right? So especially nga na ang asthma is related ay sa, sa lungs mo. So um pag sinabing asthma um I, I I think this is very you know common na alam ng lahat. Kung hindi man ito yung condition na nagkakaroon ka ng mga episode ng um respiratory symptoms, um nagkakaroon ng paninikip yung daanan ng hangin um, ng iyong ng iyong lungs pag inaatake ka kasi nagkakaroon ng uh, pamamaga right pag na-expose ka sa allergen kasi mayroon siyang tinatawag na ano eh parang um trigger siya kung na-expose ka doon sa sa allergen yung agent mo yung nagko ng allergy mo nagko ng ask mo so mayroon tinatawag na ganoon so, um, yun nga, uh, kung pong pag-uusapan natin ng COVID, um, maraming pwede kasing mangyari. So, if you have an asthma and then may expose ka sa COVID, it could happen that you will get an asthma attack. So, magkakaroon ka ng mga attack, ka ng asthma. Tapos, pwede ka magkaroon ng pneumonia. Tapos, iba pang mga complication na every pang respiratory illnesses na pwedeng um, mag-cause ng complications. So, mag, pwede kang magkaroon ng mga, ng mga uh, severe symptoms na tinatawag. Pwede kang magkaroon ng mas malalang mga sintomas dahil nga may existing ka ng problem. May, may, may existing na problem ka na sa lungs na tinatawag. Kailangan mag-ingat ka. Dobling ingat. You have to, be, you have to make sure that you have to be extra careful. Um, 
you have to continue your medicine kung mayroong mayroong um, prescription na gamot sa inyo ng doktor na dapat inumin so dapat ipatuloy mo yung inumin uh, as much as possible you have to consult um, you have to consult uh, regularly with the doctor kailangan magpa-check up ka na regular basis tapos ang pinaka-importante you stay at home para less yung possibility na magka, magkaroon ka ng infection na COVID. Kasi again, pag meron kang ibang mga sakit, or sa example na to, meron kang asthma, pwede kang magkaroon ng severe complications. Na pwede maging uh, uh, lethal, pwede critical, or pwede, pwede kang mamatay, for example. So I think um, those are the questions that I want to talk about right now. Um, again, um, I hope you have learned something in this video. Very common yung mga topics na pinag-iusapan natin. Uh, very common yung mga questions na gusto kong sagutin at gusto kong pag-usapan ng paulit-ulit. Again, gusto ko lang i-emphasize. Gusto ko, gusto ko siya pag-usapan ng paulit-ulit para mas maintindi para mas maging aware tayo para mas maging aware tayo sa mga nangyayari sa paligid natin so thank you very much and I hope you have learned something and again please and please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please like and share and subscribe and as much as possible I will create videos na pwede uh, mapag-usapan natin yung you know yung pwede Uh, magkaroon tayo ng learning on a daily basis. So, salamat ng marami. Dagang salamat. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much. And I hope um, this will be helpful. And see you soon. Hashtag NurseBids. God bless you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Babush!